and welcome to Psychic True Crime. My name is Arity Green, and I am doing a fun celebrity pop culture reading today on Sam Hewen and Katrina Balf. You guys may not at all follow this couple. They're not a couple. They're an on-screen couple from the show Outlander, but there's a big following uh, with this show, uh, with their connection with that relationship, uh, both on screen and off. And I wanted to get the juicy details. Were they ever together? Were they ever romantic? He clearly was in love with her at some point. It's so obvious from the pictures. I don't even need a reading on that because I already know. Um, but where was she and why does she feel more distant now, aside from having her own life, uh, fiance or husband and a new child? So we're going to dive into some of this. I can't promise any answers. We're just doing an energy check-in or checkup. I'm going to do my best. I will say in these types of scenarios and situations, especially with a lot of energy and attention on them, it can be difficult to decipher the energy because you got all this stuff in the pot and I have to like pick through it and see what's actually real and true. So I'm not making any promises. This is more of a fun reading. Clearly this is a little bit even more off uh, topic from what I normally do since the theme is psychic true crime and this is more celebrity or pop culture, but we're doing it today and I hope you get something out of it. So first we're gonna do a reading on Sam Hewen. So this is, he plays the character Jamie Frazier in the show Outlander. And if you don't know about Claire and Jamie, and if you don't know about Sam and Contrita, do do your own research or Google search or whatever to get a good feel for what I'm even talking about. I imagine you wouldn't be here too long if you were interested or didn't have some semblance of knowledge around it, but I think you would be curious and it's worthwhile to check in and look at their old photos and see how friendly they were and all the chemistry that they had and to see how things have changed. Now, of course, they've grown, they've matured, they have their own lives. She has her new baby with somebody else. So it's obvious their paths have gone in different directions, but it did appear for a while that it, their paths were pretty darn intertwined. And I don't think, which is why I'm doing the reading, that it was just professionally for the show where they, where they lived and breathed the show for at least three years and like nothing else existed because hello, they're new to fame, they're new to the business, they're new to success like that. I'm sure it was so much fun and, and quite a ride. Um, and then of course you grow, you mature and you go on to new projects and things like that as well. And so you might not give the you know, on-screen couple or that show as much time, energy, and attention as you once did. So I kind of wanted to see, you know, did they just age and mature and move on and, you know, their whole life wasn't Outlander anymore? Is that what changed? Or was there a romantic history? Did they have a, a, a romantic relationship at any point? How do they feel about the relationship now and where are they at? So I'm going to open with talking about Sam, how he feels about Katrina, how he feels now, or how he felt about her then, how he feels now. Do the same thing with Katrina, how she felt then, how she feels now. Then we're going to talk about sort of the history of the relationship or the development, seeing where we're guided there, if they were romantic. And then we're going to talk about where the relationship is at now. So I do feel like Sam had found a home in Katrina. I feel like he felt like she was very relatable. He could connect to her easily. It was such an easygoing, natural, organic connection that it was hard to deny, right? You could never argue with someone that you hit it off so instantly with, so naturally, so organically, so chemically, where like everything is on point and energized and they just feel like a natural friend and easy connection. But I do feel like he had some idea or connection or sense of she completes me or she might be my soulmate or she might be my person. I do feel like he found a home in her. Um, he felt like, you know, it feels like based on the energy that he did suspect that they could be the one for each other, or at least a soulmate, a strong connection. You know, he felt like it was very organic from the very beginning because it felt like, oh, this completes me. Um, or at least is a very easy bond that just fell naturally into our laps and wow. So I feel like that's what, um, that's how he felt in the beginning. He also felt it was very mutual. They both had a mutual connection and attraction to each other. Again, it felt easy. It's like it just fell into their laps. The dominoes fell. Um, it's like everything fell in line, sort of, so to speak. Like they didn't have to work for it or try for it. It was very natural. Stemming from that, I feel like it was also very natural in terms of their environment and the structure of their lives and the way their lives at the time were sort of organized and engineered and arranged. It's like they were, because it feels like everything's sort of moving in this direction. And so I feel like it wasn't just the relationship, but just the natural growth or outpouring of the connection happened because 
It's almost like when you're forced to live on an island with someone, right? And in this case, if they were filming the show and filming 10 months out of the year and 14 hours of the day every day and on the same, in, just in Scotland as an example, um, on location that often, that frequently, it was only natural. They would spend a lot of time together, get to know each other very well, develop a strong bond and intimacy and whatever's to come, we'll find out. But it was like, it was just this natural unfolding uh, that unfolded very naturally for them to have a connection, have a relationship and for it to be easy. You know, um, it's easy to spend a lot of time on, so, with someone when you're forced to do that. You know, it's easy to develop a bond or friendship with someone or even romantic feelings when you're always with someone. So far, I'm not getting tons of necessarily romantic vibes, romantic feels. I do get chemistry. I do get ease. I do get an organic connection, a strong bond, but I'm not getting tons of you know, titillating energy or something that's like, whoa, fireworks. So it doesn't mean that there wasn't that, but so far it's just this really intense mutual respect, bond, admiration, and love, no doubt. Um, but I'm not getting tons of desire or anything like that. It doesn't mean it wasn't there. It, when we're talking about the bond though, it's really gonna speak to the primary energy, the primary forces, the primary influences. And right now it feels like a very strong kinship a very strong bond and connection and respect and admiration for each other. Let's see what else is here. Um, so I did, I feel like there was um, sort of a magic in the air to this. He knew it was something special. He felt that there was something special there, um, whether that was because he felt like, okay, this is magic and this is meant to be because we're meant to be on the show together and the show's meant to be big and we're meant to sort of um, impart um, this to the world or impact the world in this particular way and it feels very magical and meant to be in that way or if he felt that okay this is meant to be in a romantic way again i'm not getting a whole lot of romantic feelings but i do feel a strong bond strong strong kinship strong connection strong respect for each other and a sort of magic in the air about this connection he knew it was special he recognized how special it is um now i do feel like I'm trying to see here. I, I'm going to sit with the energies. Give me a moment. You'll find that I do that sometimes. I like to meditate for, for a moment when I need to, to again, decipher um, the energy, but also get really specific with it. So just give me a moment. Okay, so I read up to the point that I was able to gather and um, can pull more clarifier cards if we don't get to it. But it feels like there were some parts of the relationship that maybe they didn't see eye to eye or they saw, you know, they had different visions either for their future, it could be for their professional lives, could be for their personal lives, but they didn't see eye to eye in a lot of areas that might be required for say a romantic connection or a romantic relationship. It doesn't mean that there wasn't one or that it prevented one or would prevent one. It just means they weren't always eye to eye and um, perhaps had a different idea on things. Now, I do have a card here on self-reflection and, and seeing something as a burden. And when I sat with it, I was unable to fully capture yet. We're going to see if we can get to it or I might pull some clarifier cards on what that burden was. Because, right, this is how he used to feel about her. Um, and I don't feel like she was a burden. It could be that the show, the weight of the show and just the fame monster and the whole thing, um, including the requirements of the job and doing the promo and spending all that time together, but just having to spend all the time you know, on promo and then you're plus you're filming it and all this stuff, it could have felt like a burden. And that's sort of maybe what um, put some pressure on the relationship or connection or bond, or maybe eventually um, Katrina felt like she wanted to sort of take a different direction. Now she's still an outlander. She still stars there. Um, although you can feel her more detached or disconnected and, and definitely interested in other projects. Um, we haven't really gotten to how she felt about Sam or how she feels now, but I feel like perhaps when he looks back on this relationship, he realizes realizes that there was a change or a shift in the connection and in the relationship because of the weight of the, sh it feels like it could be the weight of the show because I don't feel like he felt weighted down by Katrina in particular. It could have been the immense responsibility of carrying the show and all the weight on their shoulders. And just over time, you know, maybe mixing work and play or just being together all the time wasn't ideal for anything more to come from that relationship or connection. Um, now, does that mean it ruined the potential of or a romantic relationship that they had? No, but I, again, I'm not even seeing romance here in this reading so far. Doesn't mean it, it wasn't there. We do see magic. There could have been desire, um, but I'm not feeling a whole lot of romance at this point or that there was a true couple relationship. Um, doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's just not the primary energy that's here. So again, I feel like 
you know, there's maybe the weight of the show when he looks back uh, or the burden, the responsibility is something that maybe put a uh, rift in their connection and or it was like when they finally had time away from each other, they took it, something like that. I don't think I'm nailing it per, um, specifically, but I do I feel like I have the overall energy. There's something about uh, the weight of the show, the responsibilities, the burden, um, just the um, sort of overkill that would be required for a show like that. Um, did shift or change the course of their connection in a way where it brought more distance. So now when we say, well, how does Sam feel about the connection now? I feel like he has great admiration, respect for her again. Um, I feel like she um, is, is really important to his heart and that he just has a lot of love for her and a lot of respect and just, you know, just so much love. Um, I also though have a card here on mother. So I know that Katrina has had a child. And so I feel like in some ways, especially since we have a clarifier card here too of the outsider, I feel like he sort of feels left out. Um, that it's like he's there and a part of her life, but sort of more detached or taking an outsider role or an observer role, not quite in it, not quite an intimate role, you know, not in her life 24 seven, like it used to be where it was like all hands on deck, take a look, all hands on deck here, a lot of abundance in that connection, um, everything sort of organically flowing for them to be together, to spend a lot of time together, a lot of magic in the air, um, where now it feels more of like on the outside, he has a lot of love for her. You can see on the other side of that fence, there's a lot of love and a lot of connection. And yet he feels like the outsider. He feels like he's more an observer to her life. He's not actively engaged or participating in her life. I don't think that's because of his desire for that to be. I think it's just been a natural shift in direction because we saw that they didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things or had a different vision for either how things should go professionally um, or how they should go personally, in which case it kind of set them on different paths. Um, we do know um, that Sam has tended to focus more on professional endeavors and Katrina more personal over the years. She's, you know, she has a, met a fiance, then I perhaps they got married, she has a husband and now a child. I mean, that shows you right there different uh, directions, but it could have been, you know, different ideas in terms of life paths or what they wanted to do or what their priorities were, or even how they saw the relationship. He might've wanted to take it one direction and her another. Um, but it doesn't feel like that. It just feels, it honestly feels like to me, like, um, maybe some disagreement or um, discord or something like that. Not that there was anything wrong or there's no blow up and not getting volatility or anything explosive, none of that stuff, but just like not seeing eye to eye on some of the basics where maybe she had an expectation or a standard or something that maybe he didn't measure up to. Um, sort of that energy, but I don't know for sure. Um, but I definitely get, he has a lot of respect for her, a lot of love. She's become a mom. He does feel like an outsider. And how does he feel now? This is the sad part. He feels like there's some loss. I think he does miss what they had. He does miss that connection. He does miss it as being like a main sort of entree to his life, a, a, you know, a primary experience that they had and shared for many, many years. I do get a lot of emotion here. So I do feel like there's significant grief there in terms of what once was and how their light just burned so bright for so many years or for, you know, for several years. And now um, it doesn't bright. It doesn't, it's not shining as brightly now their lights are shining in different ways, right? You know, and her is motherhood and she has these great uh, films that are out and are, you know, critically acclaimed and, and award-winning or nominated. And, and he, he has his hands on a million different pots professionally, the book and clan lands and all these things. Um, with that said, their light together isn't shining as bright. And I feel like that hurts his heart and he does miss her or he just, he misses what once was. And I think that's very natural to miss what once was. It doesn't even feel like he has any regrets or like, oh, I wish it had gone this way, or I wish it was this way now. Um, but he does feel a sense of loss. He does feel like an outsider. And um, it's like he doesn't have regrets about it necessarily, right? There's like no hard feelings. Um, and yet there is a loss. There is a grief. There is a missing of and a feeling of being on the outsider, but still a very strong bonded connection that underlies all of this, uh, their connection and relationship overall. What else is here? It's more of like that longing for what once was more nostalgia than it is, oh, I wish it was this way now. You know what I mean? There's a difference between wanting something now and wanting to make it happen or regretting the past or wishing it would have gone a different way versus, oh, I just miss what once was. Gosh, that was, you know, that was such a great time, a great era. Weren't those the golden years? You know, how we all kind of look back and have those moments. And I feel like he just looks back, wow, those were the golden years. Wow, wasn't that a wonderful time? Wow, we sure um, had a lot of fun, didn't we? So he looks back on it fondly, but also with some nostalgia and some um, some sadness or grief or longing for that. 
Okay, so I feel like we're going to talk about how did Katrina feel about the relationship? Whoa, she, I do, I feel like she had feelings. She had a connection and her mind got in the way and wouldn't let her do it. Now we got earlier seeing each other, not seeing eye to eye, having a different vision um, or values or different directions or life paths they wanted to go on. I wonder if this was it. And it had something to do with maybe even though, right? So even though I know that he has a lot of love for her because we got that, we got, he has, she has a lot of love for him. So we have both of those happening here, but I'm actually feeling a lot more love on Katrina's side. Now I do, this is of course back then, how did she used to feel? But I think it's bringing that up specifically for her as opposed to Sam, even though we know he was like all about it because we have the pictures, right? All you need is body language. I don't need an energy reading. It's freaking right in front of my face. So look up those pictures and know what I'm saying and know what I'm talking about referring to. I think it's pointing out specifically for Katrina on her side because I think that's the part that people are unclear on. Like we know Sam was into her, but you know, was she into him? And, and it's saying that she actually had a lot, of, a lot of love for him and she felt those feelings and she felt everything that he felt. She felt the magic. She felt the organic chemistry. She felt the natural unfolding of an evolution of this connection and relationship. She felt the meant to be in faded and destined aspect, but her head got in the way. I wonder if she didn't trust Sam or didn't trust him to be a good father. Like she might have thought, gosh, he has all the emotional sensitivity and he has like the spontaneity and the playfulness and the adventure, but is he grown enough or man enough to be a husband or, or a partner or a father or a proper husband or a proper father? I'm not saying these were her exact questions, but the energy of it is, is I don't know if I trust him to be what I, what I feel like I want or need in a partner. You know, I feel like we have this connection, this chemistry, this substance, but do we have the structure, the discipline, the order, um, the things that she would want in a husband or a fatherly figure. Um, I feel like her mind got in the way and would not allow any more to occur. So there might've been clear boundaries or a clear vision for how she wanted that relationship to look, that it wasn't gonna cross uh, any other boundaries or go in any direction she didn't want it. Um, it, it. I don't know if this came out in conversation with them at any point in time, or if they ever had like a clear communication on it in terms of, hey, I like you, I'm feeling this. And it's like, no, let's not do this because we need to do this. I don't know if that ever happened, but the energy here could be could come into form in a way like, you know, let's keep it strictly professional. Let's focus on business. Let's make sure we keep it the way it needs to be so that that way we can, you know, do what's right by the show and, and not bring any, any mess or chaos or challenge to it. I also feel like she had, and I feel like this is Katrina in general, her energy that I get as someone who is relatively sensitive to this kind of thing of uh, her head and her heart, you know, battling for control. And even though she is fun loving and relatively gregarious and can have a laugh and all that stuff, I, I do feel like she has a strong wit and intellect and strength about her in terms of like, she knows what she wants and she's going to get it. And it has to be a certain way. And there are some particularities and standards here. And again, mind over heart. And I feel like she really struggled with the connection, whether she gave it the struggle, a lot of attention or not is a different story. Um, and whether a lot of it was subconscious or happening beneath the radar, but ultimately she had feelings. She connected as well as he did, but she wouldn't allow it to grow or be kindled further. Her mind stepped in and was really challenged by this connection and didn't know if it was the right thing, right? Or the smart thing or the wise thing. Those are the kind of questions that we ask ourselves when we're more in our mind than in our heart. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Because we do use our mind to temper our hearts and our hearts to temper our mind. Um, they are supposed to be in relationship with each other, but ultimately I don't feel like she gave herself free reign or gave herself the green light or full permission to explore this connection um, either at all or any further than it went. Um, especially for someone more long-term or something like that, because I feel like her head got in the way in terms of rules, standards, expectations, whatever it is that she deemed to be a proper husband, father, partner, whatever. Yeah, I feel like, oh my gosh. So when I'm looking at these cards, it's very clear to me, Sam was sort of in alignment, honoring his feelings, following the path and the flow, following his heart, letting it sort of unroll and unfurl and letting it be natural in terms of how this unfolded. And he wasn't going to make it um, be it's not like there's no force here in terms of, oh, it has to be this because I have these feelings for you. But there's also no holding back. Oh, it can't be this because we're in a business relationship or it can't be this because of what I imagine my partner to be. So there's no holding back and there's no forcing. It's just very natural, right? There's a flow. When I see Katrina's card, it's all control, force, you know, mental um, noise and chaos. Um, there's a subconscious, she fought against, the cards say 
that her, even though there was a lot of love here and she felt what he did, she fought it and she fought it hard. And there was a subconscious fighting. She might not have realized it. Um, she might not have been giving a lot of attention to it. Like, oh, I'm sitting here fighting with my feelings about how I feel for him. Um, she may have given it some time and it doesn't feel like that. It feels very subconscious happening beneath the radar, fighting how she felt, not allowing it to unfold, not allowing it to develop, perhaps being worried about what it could do um, to their professional lives or roles or professional endeavors, or being worried about it not measuring up in the ways that she needed it to measure up or that needed it to be. Because again, we have, I mean, look, look at these cards. You can't make this up. Look at these kinds of cards we get in hers where she's fighting the connection. She's maybe even pulling away. She's in her head about it. She's trying to control it. Um, you know, placing perhaps boundaries or structures on it, you know, having it go a certain direction, putting reins on it. I mean, this is the kind of energy we're seeing for hers. And we didn't see any of that for Sam's, except when we got to them having not seeing eye to eye on either where they were going to go or this relationship and connection and where it could, could take them. Um, I don't think she let herself fully let go in this connection. That's like the best way to put it. She didn't allow herself to let go. Um, and if she did, it was in small doses and she, then she would sort of get her wits about her smarts and be like, no, not happening, that kind of thing. So maybe she either talked herself out of it, talked herself through it, but you know, more or less it's saying Sam was in his heart, following the flow, available for whatever would come of this, even perhaps available to a long-term connection if it were to avail itself, but he wasn't gonna force it, but he also wasn't gonna hold it back, but he was very present with that and available to what would happen or could happen because he felt it and he knew that it was at least a right relationship for the way it, the form it took then and for that time in their lives. But on hers, we're getting a lot of logic and rationality and it should be this and it should be that. And what if it isn't this? And what if it isn't that? So do you see the difference in terms of being in alignment, being in the flow, being in the heart space, allowing, but not forcing either, not pushing, but also not resisting or holding back. You know, she was trying to control it. Um, and I think this was just a challenge with her to let go and really be in her heart about it. I feel like for a time she was confused at some point, you know, um, how do I feel about him? Is there more here? Could there be more here? Am I, um, you know, not making the, you know, most accurate assessment or evaluation of this connection or the relationship? Because I feel like she did feel the connection. She did feel the heart. She did feel it in her soul. Like she had felt the emotional connection and the intensity there. And she also saw how, this, because of that connection, it was the center of Outlander, the heart and soul of Outlander. Um, and I feel like because there was such a big manifestation of their connection specifically that led to what became of it, that she almost wondered, well, I feel like, you know, there has to be something here. I mean, there is something here, number one, but gosh, I mean, look what's what we've created. Um, this, you know, incredible, successful show, the fan following, et cetera, et cetera. So there must be something here and I feel something here. Um, but she didn't know how to make sense of it or, or what to do with it or whether she was making the right decision to, for it to be more. And this is again with the um, prefacing of, we don't know yet if there's any romantic uh, relationship um, or even potential here, but I do feel like there could have been, again, we did get chemistry, we did get magic, but I'm not seeing like sensual desire or, you know, erotic energy or anything of the sort yet. It might be here later, um, but I do get emotional intensity. You know, I do get emotional connection. I do get chemistry, strong kinship, bond, respect for each other. Um, and I do feel like she was confused for a time about how she felt and wondered if she was making the right choice and if she was, um, was making the right choice or not making the right choice. And I feel like ultimately at some point she had to just turn it off, maybe even completely and turn it in a new direction so that she could not only be at peace with her life and her feelings, but um, it's like you can only sort of be stagnant for so long. And if you're confused or whatever, you might just say, forget it. Never mind. I'm moving on because I don't know what to do with this. Um, there might be more there. I think there is, but that's what I have so far. It's almost like the emotional intensity was so big. She almost felt like it could be something. It should be something, right? Like, and I feel this, the show's so big. And yet, you know, she was fighting it in all these other ways, like we talked about. So let's see how she feels about him now. Ah. How she feels about him now. I feel like she sees it for what it is. Um, she saw, she now sees the relationship for what it was and recognize, recognize all of the beauty in it and like what it had to offer and just like how bountiful and plentiful that connection was. I feel like she does have a lot of respect and acknowledgement for that 
connection, kinship, friendship. Um, you know, there's no denying it. And I don't think she would ever attempt to. Um, but she does recognize the abundance in the connection. But I also feel like she has moved on and feels abundant in her life. We saw her sort of be on this search and kind of close the door and turn the light off and move in a different direction. And I feel like, you know, she looks back, but feels like it was, you know, it came to completion, you know, that, okay, that phase of my life is complete and it was whole the way that it was. And it was perfect the way that it was. And she sort of moved on and feels good where she's at in terms of her life and her home life and her personal life. Does that mean that, um, like that just because she feels complete and abundant, doesn't mean that the relationship didn't have something of value or that it didn't provide something beforehand. Um, it, she actually feels like that chapter was that and it was good while it lasted. It's kind of like here for a good time for not for a long time kind of thing, you know, and it was good while it lasted, but this is where she's at now and she's happy with where she's at now. Um, I do feel like it's interesting because um, I do feel like I wonder because we have romance and fool right next to each other. And then I wonder if she it makes me wonder if even though it's in the present day position, I wonder if she does look back and reflect and wonder to herself like, gosh, what if I had just let go, you know, and not that she's happy right now. We got that. She's moved on. Um, so if she closed the door on that or turned the light off on that chapter kind of thing, she feels abundant. Her life feels good and whole and complete. Um, so it's not like she's like missing Sam or missing what they had or wishing it had gone differently. Not at all. But she, I think she may, based on this energy, even though it's in the present position, she may look back and say, um, gosh, you know, um, what if I had let go? What if I had been more open? You know, what if my life had gone that direction? And then she moves on, right? She doesn't give it too much time or attention. But this could also be that she has moved on, that she's she's now with someone else and moved on, not just in her life, but in her romantic life and has has a new beginning with someone else because she fought herself too hard in this. I would like to know why she fought hard and why they weren't seeing eye to eye and why it couldn't work or didn't work. But again, I think it goes back to something maybe she didn't see in Sam or think that he could provide um, or perhaps a different in values or ways they wanted to go um, or life paths or directions they wanted to take. So it could be that. I feel like it's very connected to that. But again, she was approaching that connection or relationship from logic and rationality, and he was approaching it from the space of the heart. So let's talk about their relationship here. So I'm looking, yeah, they both had a deep understanding with each other. Um, there was such a, a beautiful gift in that connection and that relationship, and it brought them so much because it not just brought, you know, it brought them Outlander. I mean, yes, you could say Outlander brought them each other, um, but ultimately one way or the other, because if it wasn't for their chemistry and connection, Outlander might not have been a, such a big success. So we can say there was a big gift here, whichever way you look at it, it there was a big, huge gift that was brought to them through this connection, through this relationship. Um, let's see what else is here. Okay, so when we're talking about the relationship in the past, we're getting that it was a gift, that they had a great understanding of each other and natural kinship and connection stuff we continue to see time and again here with this reading. Um, I also feel like it really awakened them and enlivened them. So not just the relationship, but this era and time in their life sort of re-energized them, revitalized them. Um, I mean, hello, they were on top of the world. And it's almost feeling like the incredibleness <laughs> of their relationship was also a reflection and extension of that time in their lives and just becoming so big so fast and becoming famous and um, all the wonderful success of the show. It was like all of that was feeding off of each other. So yes, their chemistry and connection made the show that much greater and that much more successful or even paved the way for the success. And the success of the show and just that way of life and that season and era of their life made it easy and um, made it their, their connection easier and also sort of fed their relationship. You know what I mean? It's like when you're when things are going really, really good and you're in a relationship at that time, gosh, you can only look back on it with such wonder and gratitude because it's like, gosh, weren't those times great? You know, those were the golden years again. Like I was saying earlier, it's like part of the reason the relationship was so good was because that experience in their lives was also so good, right? Their stars took off, you know, they were famous and it was just fun and enlivening and everything was new and everything was exciting. And they were doing work that really tapped into their creative talent and they were feeling good about their creative endeavors. And then they're also successful and they're being recognized by their peers and they're getting to know new friends. And so it was like all of that coming together at once. And so 
uh, part of the reason their relationship was also hit off so well was because of the success of the show, because it almost feels like, you know, without the success of the show, would their relationship um, be as exciting or thrilling or whatever as it was? It seems like, it feels like maybe not. Like maybe, yes, they would maybe hit it off and have a great night in a bar if they had met in a random bar in random town world, you know, or random town USA. They might have hit it off, had a couple of drinks, had the time of their lives, would have had lasted much longer, or gone anywhere from there. Probably not, is what it feels like. You know, again, he lives in his heart and in alignment. She's much more rational, logical, wants it a certain way, or wants it to be a certain way, um, or believes it has to be a certain way. And so, yes, it might have gone really well for something fun and passionate and exciting. And there's a lot of love and respect and admiration there, but it didn't have like staying power, practically speaking. Um, it's looking like based on their personalities, the, their compatibility, where they wanted to go, what they want to do with their lives, probably not, which is why, yes, it was so good when it was good. And it was also so good because Outlander and all of that was so good and the fame and the success and all of that was great. So it all was going so, so, so well. Um, but ultimately it might not have panned out regardless, you know, had they just met each other again randomly because their particular personalities together might not have had the staying power to continue. I feel like there was an opportunity and potential here for them to be together. I do feel like there was a clear window, a clear portal, a clear opportunity for them to come together. And it feels like, um, it may not have been the, the most obvious option not to us. It seems obvious, but to them, maybe it wasn't, or to Katrina especially, maybe it wasn't so obvious because it feels like it feels like a hidden path, the unknown path, the unchosen path. It feels like that kind of energy. Let me give you an example. So when you go to a fork in the road, right, it seems like there's a left and a right. And I feel like Katrina would just see left, right. Um, but then there was a third option. And that might have been Sam. And maybe she didn't even see it or wouldn't even allow herself to see it or wasn't even going to give it the time of day. But it was so obvious and so much in her face and like right underneath her nose. But don't we all do that? Where it's like the one that got away, right? Or the, gosh, I, how could I not even see it? It was right underneath my nose the whole time. And yet sometimes we literally cannot see something. So she was saying, okay, this is what I do, or this is what I do, when it was so obvious it was right underneath her nose. Um, so there was potential there. They could have gone down that road. There was a third path, um, but it wasn't as obvious or wasn't as clear, but it wasn't chosen. It was relatively hidden. It was a possibility, but it wasn't chosen. So ultimately, um, they went off on their different directions, right? We have the card of aloneness here. I feel like there could have been a, a possibility or opportunity for um, emotional fulfillment in this connection and that there was for a time too, like there was for a time a lot of fulfillment um, and a lot of connection and a lot of emotion in there. And just, again, I think it was all reflective too of that era in their lives, that season of their lives where again, their stars were shining bright and everything was going so well and everything was going so right. Um, I do, I would love to find out what changed because I haven't done that yet. Um, but if, if we don't find out, if we decide not to make the reading longer, it could just be that it was her mind that got in the way, got in the way and she didn't even see it necessarily as an option or just didn't give it the green light and or didn't give it the green light to continue uh, in a different direction because they ultimately went their own paths. Like it, while it was emotional fulfilling for a time, they ultimately went on their own paths. So now we say, um, was there romance? I wanted to ask about that. You know, I do feel, um, I do feel like there could have been romance um, because we have success here and we have desire. So to me, that means perhaps something was consummated. I can never guarantee that for sure. But when it says success right next to desire, that tells me, yes, there was desire. Yes, there was possibility for passion or for romance. Or it's saying, yes, there was a completion or consummation of this desire. Um, let's see what else is here. Again, I feel like there was a coolness or distance or disconnection and, you know, on Katrina's part, I can't say that for sure. I'm only gauging this, this current energy and card based on what we saw in hers before. So I'm not guaranteeing that it was just her. Um, it could be both of them, but somewhere, some way, somehow head and heart were not mixing. They were in contradiction to each other. Um, and so they were unable to like fully give it steam or momentum or even a green light or permission to move it any other direction than what it did. Sort of like stalemate, you know, where you really can't do much with it. Um, again, you know, there was a potential here and we saw that for emotional fulfillment, for partnership. Um, uh, and we see success. 
So that tells me, yes, there was desire or yes, this desire was acted upon, but ultimately head won over the heart in this situation, in this connection, in this relationship. And I know we can all relate, any of us, especially those of us who are adults or been there, done that, you know, many times, you know, more than once, more than many times, right? Um, you know, sometimes our hearts want one thing or even our bodies want one thing and our head either uh, wants something else or doesn't allow that or doesn't allow it to continue. And sometimes it's a good thing, right? Head has to temper heart, heart has to temper head, and that's what they're there for. I'm gonna see if there's anything else that wants to come through specifically uh, and, and this series of cards. All right. So I also feel like they decided to move on and to carry on and get that energy. Um, it has like a sense of travel. So then I wonder if they were deciding to go new directions or not just focus on Outlander or no longer became their primary focus. So as a natural expression or extension, a result of that, then their connection wouldn't be the primary focus either, right? To where it was, when it was, because it was, because again, you know, they were spending 10 months together on location, always with each other. It was just this natural creation of where it's like an automatic result. They would spend all this time together, get to know each other and uh, have a lot of fun and enjoy that era of life together. It's like they went on to new horizons, new beginnings to, um, you know, what different creative endeavors, different, different professional endeavors. And so just, again, a different focus, a different path and uh, moving on you know there's a feel of moving on here and uh i keep asking too even when i've paused to contemplate the cards that are here i'm like okay you know what was it specifically and why did katrina change her mind or did you change her mind what was it the thing is i'm not getting anything specific i'm getting that she fought the feeling for whatever reason it had to do with head and heart head versus heart that there was a logic or a rationality to this decision and that they might have uh, seen things differently or had a different idea of how things would go for their own futures and it simply wasn't compatible. Um, but I do get that energy too, again, which I brought up earlier and I'm gonna say it again because it, I'm kind of summing things up at the moment and then finish out with our last few cards of it felt like, you know, for some reason she didn't trust him or couldn't trust him or didn't believe that he could play the proper role that she wanted in a husband and a father. Um, maybe it was because he lived more emotionally and by the seat of his pants or by his heart. I don't know if that's true. Um, he seems relatively successful, could be organized and disciplined. I have no idea. Um, but it seems like, you know, his wellspring, his emotional center, his spiritual center is in his heart and hers is either maybe in solar plexus or in crown or something like that that's a little bit more thoughtful, intentional, rational, constructive, like it has to line up and it has to make sense and it has to be right and it has to do these things. Um, and I feel like, you know, not even just him it being a personal thing, but she, she probably doesn't even know this, right? We got a lot of subconscious cards that she feels safest when uh, a partner is operating more from their headspace or from a place of practicality uh, and, you know, supports their decisions or their heart center with logic and rationality and reasoning and discernment and maybe there's a lack of trust that she might not even recognize um so let's see where is their relationship now so i feel like she still keeps her you know at this point you know does keep her cards closer to her chest and kind of holds back from giving in or giving as much as she used to and investing in this relationship as she once did that could be because she doesn't want to offer any false hope or lead anybody on. Um, I feel like she also doesn't like or didn't like the way that people perceived that she was with Sam when she wasn't because she was making that choice intentionally and consciously. I mean, we have her here thinking about it and refusing to do it and not giving it the green light and moving on. And yet people are wanting it to be and saying that it is and that they are in a relationship. So I think that that did frustrate or annoy her at some point or maybe throughout. And so she has re realized over time that, okay, if I don't want to give people this impression, I do need to detach myself a little bit and not make it seem like it is that case. So I feel like, and again, not all of this is necessarily thought out and premeditated. Um, I just feel like these are natural emotional responses that happen. If they're not premeditated, they're happening subconsciously or automatically based on emotions. And I feel like she's like, okay, well, I'll keep my cards a little bit closer to my chest. You know, I won't be as friendly and flirty and, uh, you know, I'm not going to laugh at every joke. You know, not again, not intentional, but just kind of like keeping herself closer to herself so as to not lead anybody on or give false hope, but especially because she doesn't want that public stigma or public belief about them being together um, to gain any more momentum or speed than it always has. She's like, okay, I'm gonna keep you know myself a little bit closer to myself now. Let's see what else is here. 
I feel like Sam has moved on um, to where he's realized, okay, I'm not wanted here. I'm going to move on to where I am. Or like, this is the path of most resistance. Why would I keep pushing this? And again, I don't ever feel like he forced it, but he did see the potential. He was receptive. He was available. He was willing. But if it wasn't going to be a possibility or a potential, it wasn't something he was going to push. Why? He respects Katrina. He respects her feelings. He has a lot of love for her and a lot of admiration. There's a lot of mutual respect here. He's not going to push something that he knows isn't possible or feasible just because, right? Um, he was smart about it and decided to carry on. I'm going to move on to the path where there is more flow, where there is less resistance, where I am wanted. I'm not going to seek somebody out that doesn't want me, even if I have these feelings of a lot of love and respect and I see where this could go and I have a sense of loss and sadness. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going to go knocking down or knocking on closed doors. Like, why would you do that, right? I mean, some of us do do that. Um, now, again, I do feel like there is some nostalgia here. There's still some love here. Um, I don't feel regret. I don't feel hard feelings or bitterness or any of that stuff. I feel more like that nostalgic um, longing of, of, it could be love lost, but of like love not capitalized, of things that could have been kind of that wishy kind of vibe of energy, of remembrance, of gosh, that was great. Again, oh, those were the golden years, weren't they? Um, and kind of just this um, really deep uh, appreciation for what was and for each other and for what it was at the time, even though it's no longer there now. Um, but it does feel like some of those emotions or feelings or energies have not been addressed or expressed. Like, you know, it feels like it's a situation where um, those feelings come up. And again, let's just say it's Sam, you know, he realizes, okay, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm hardly part of her life as it is. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to kind of go on and do what I must do and do what I will do. And that's just, we're going to come together and we work and that's it. Right. Where, um, Katrina feels more like, um, just pushing it down, like, oh, pushing it down, oh, pushing it down. Maybe that's what she always did is, you know, didn't allow it to flourish or blossom, you know, any more than it did, you know, that it wasn't given the space to become something more, even though it could have, even though the potential was there. It does feel like there is some, you know, blockage here, opportunity to heal that wasn't done because um, maybe things weren't said or communicated the way that they could have been. Maybe someone feels like it wasn't resolved or that it could have been given more like um space to be discussed or reflected upon or you know it's like there's something is unresolved here for one or both parties um i feel like it could be more for katrina ironically because you know even though she had said no to it there's so much suppression and just not full connection with mind and heart that maybe there was a lack of resolution there that she might not even be aware of it and again i don't want to put feelings in anybody's bodies if it's not true to them but this is what the card is saying about you know, where they are, where they stand. And it does feel like a lack of resolution or a blockage, which means it's been suppressed. It hasn't been acknowledged. It hasn't been allowed expression. And instead it's been repressed. And so it's just lying dormant there, unacknowledged. And it simply needs to be acknowledged, even if it's not acted upon. And I feel like Sam knew well aware. He knew he was full and full knowing and well aware all along of where it was, where it was going, how it felt and all that stuff. And he was never really in denial or suppression or repression with it. Again, was very much in the flow of it all. But you know, and willing and available. And I don't want to make him out to be an angel and her a devil. I think the only thing that came up here was her mind and it got in the way and didn't allow this to unfurl. Because even if they had gotten together, it very well may have not ended in an ideal fashion if they're like married with kids. Because honestly, it feels like he might have been too young minded or youthful or innocent spirited or whatever for what Katrina was looking for in terms of mature sort of proper husband and partner that would give her the things that she sought and wanted in a husband, whether she needed it or not, that was something that she wanted. It was important for her to have the strong masculine figure or father figure for her children. And she felt like for whatever reason, maybe he wouldn't add up or be able to do that. And there was a lack of trust there because he lived more whimsically because he lived more emotionally because he lived more heart led. Um, I feel like there was a lack of trust there in her when she needed a stronger masculine. And so, right? She won't, you know, and then long story short, right? She doesn't acknowledge those feelings. She suppresses, represses them, doesn't allow them because her mind takes front and center and guides her to where she needs to go. They both move on. They both move on to traveling to other jobs and, uh, and endeavors and um, projects and their career. And even in their personal life, now he feels like an outsider. But if anything, he knew that those feelings were there and never had anything to address because it was, shoot, it was clear and obvious and apparent to him. It was her who was fighting it all along. So she might be the one with unresolved feelings. Oh, there is a nostalgia on both people's hearts. Um, then again, you know, hers, it's almost like this whimsical mermaid, you know, that's like waiting to be acknowledged that maybe she hasn't uh, given too much attention to. Let's see what else is here. 
Um, I feel like there's come, they both come to, even though right, we talked about some of those other energies, we do have this energy of acceptance here. We do have this energy of, okay, there's this longing or, for what once was, or this like really beautiful appreciation and nostalgia, which is a little bit of a pool of a yearning or a longing, longing to it. But again, it's not necessarily like, oh, it should have been this way, or let's try to make it this way. It's not this, you know, no one has a desire to change it or fix it or, you know, do it again or whatever. It's just finding this peace with it, finding this acceptance. They, they both are in a space of recognizing that this is where they are now. This is where they were then. And more than likely, uh, where they were then was temporal to that time and, and came to, had a beginning and an ending for that time and likely will not recur. Um, I can't say that for sure. Um, I feel like there still could be potential here, but I don't feel like she's going to seek it out. I feel like she's complete with that era and that chapter. He has also moved on and wants to move into a relationship that has less resistance and more willingness and flow, obviously, who wouldn't? Um, so it feels like they're, uh, to sum it all up, it feels like the relationship had a lot of beauty and a lot of light and a lot of spirit and a lot of zest and a lot of good times and good memories and good connection. Um, it feels like a magical connection and relationship um, that supported the magic of the show and its successes. It feels like it really was like an era that will go down in history for the remainder of their lives. Something they will both look on and back fondly, um, looking at each other fondly. It does feel have a little bit of the energy of the one that got away or the one that I never allowed to even, you know, come together. Uh, it does have a little bit of that energy, a little bit of loss in terms of him feeling so outside of their connection and friendship now in terms of he's not a part of her day-to-day -day life and feels sort of outside as opposed to inside and that does hurt him because he feels like they have a strong connection and their light burns so bright at one point and i think that hurts him but he also has this uh, acceptance to it of okay you know he, again he moved on and he realized and he has so much love for her that it's not like again there's any hard feelings or anything um, associated with that and then with her you know, she's moved on. She's happy with where she is, or at least feels complete or content, satisfied with the decisions that she's made, with the choices that she's made, with where she's at today. She feels abundant and full, um, but she does um, have some suppressed um, uh, inclinations here in terms of maybe feelings that have gone unaddressed or unacknowledged around this connection and or it could just be the general block between mind and heart that is the primary theme that she is working on as a human or as a soul that you know this relationship or could have been relationship with sam was just one of many like a myriad of things that followed a similar path or a theme rather where you know she's still learning to balance out head and heart and has tended to side with head um, and detach or withdraw emotionally or disconnect or whatever or make more radical logical decisions or rely more on reasoning and I think she's a lack of trust for the heart space of living just by the heart or even the kind of person that does which is where maybe they you know diverted paths or wouldn't have worked out or had the needed potential for something to grow and flourish any more than it did so my summation is that there could have been romance but it doesn't feel like it was capitalized on overall we did have a semblance of it we had some desire there we definitely had some chemistry we had magic but i if it did ever cross the line and consummate into something further it uh, was not given too much airtime and was very quickly put back in the back pocket and both people moved on. They saw that they didn't quite see eye to eye or wouldn't have matched up or measured up as partners or with any additional potential. There was this cool headedness or distance or even like sort of professionalism that it feels like overall that Katrina took to decide not to pursue this any further. Both of them look back um, with, with great wonder at this time in their lives, have a lot of love and respect for each other, uh, but ultimately have found satisfaction and acceptance with where they are now, uh, even though he more or less is on the outside and she has moved on. All right, everybody. Thank you.